gropings, detention pods, and x-ray scanners. A few of the things you can experience at your local airport. But how would you feel if these things left the airport and came to meet you? Hi, right, how are you guys doing? How do you guys feel about the security at the airport since 9-11? Oh, we're not interested in talking about it. Okay. You do know that it's coming outside of the airport, sir, and it's going to have TSA Viper team down in the streets and at the Super Bowl? All right. This guy loves the fact that they'll be checking him at the Super Bowl. Uh, he gave me a big thumbs up. It's kind of annoying, kind of in annoying. a sense. In what way? Having to get naked, you know what I mean? Having to... Uh, Get the, get the pat downs and all that? Yeah, and having to put your hands in the air and do all that good stuff. Well, you know, at uh, the Super Bowls, they're starting to do pat downs, you know, TSA style pat downs when you go into the, these big events. These say travel light because uh, there will be well, numerous be checkpoints event, throughout so the entire week. not going to bother week. me. I'll be watching it from my uh, sofa at home. I don't really like to go to big events like that for those particular reasons because I'm scared something, that's a lot of people, you know what I mean? So anything can happen with all those people there. How do you guys feel about the security at the airport since 9-11? It's getting more friendly with TSA PreCheck. And you, sir? Uh, yeah, I agree. I'm a frequent traveler. I'm TSA PreCheck, so it doesn't really affect me too much. They have TSA Viper teams. They're going to be checking bus terminals and airports. Some areas, they're already doing this. I don't know. I might feel safer, actually. They check bus terminals and also uh, train stations. No, but I got to go. Okay. Thank you, sir. You go to the mall? Okay, Sometimes. so would you be willing to t accept anything that goes on here to get inside the mall? Uh, no. no. I wouldn't go through a pat down to go to the mall, no. So they're on the buses, they're on the trains. What if a day came when you got a random checkpoint as the TSA wanting to check your car? Would you feel okay with that? Uh, I think so. Tennessee is now the first state ever to work with the TSA to deploy a simultaneous counterterrorism operation statewide. What if for some reason they decide maybe they want to do random checkpoints and check you in your car? You know, this was a massive operation really bringing all federal, state, and local agencies together to not only do random searches, but also create an army of agents on wheels. Would you guys be okay with that if they had a random TSA checkpoint to search your car? Well, that's happened to me at other airports like in Los Angeles. Your vehicle uh, has been inspected higher alert. under the TSA regulations. So that's in the L.A., they do it all the time. All the time. Oh, yeah. The, uh, you guys had the incident at the L.A. airport, right? That was just a couple months ago. Yeah. yeah. And do you, do you think any uh, additional security could have ended that? Yeah, having someone there who, who was uh, armed, you know, with more than just uh, a walkie-talkie or whatever. Less crowds. Less crowds. L.A.'s a madhouse. What if, you know, the day came where they started doing random checkpoints, you're driving in your car and you get pulled over, it's TSA wanting to check your car? No, not for probable cause. Well, what's the probable cause here at the airport? I mean, it's not a probable cause at the airport, but it's a little bit dangerous when you're getting on a plane and now nobody can no longer get to you. You cannot get to anybody else. You know, if I'm in my car, you don't have a reason for me to just search my personal space. You know what I mean? So, so you have rights, Fourth Amendment rights. Yeah. Good, bad, or indifferent, whether they love it or hate it, the people we spoke to today are at least content to put up with these measures at the airport, trading their liberty for security. Jakari Jackson reporting for InfoWars Nightly News. You can find more reports at prisonplanet.tv and InfoWars.com.